Hello and welcome back to another DIY video. Today we're going to be changing out the in-tank fuel pump on a Mercedes GLK 350. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. And we'll get started here in just a moment. The fuel pump on this model, it is the in-tank PZEV is what it's called I believe. But this is pretty much what it looks like here. You can purchase a brand new one. But in my case, I got a used one. And the reason I got mine used, because if you get the OEM version, it's about 500 bucks. This is off of a donor car with about supposedly 24,000 miles on it. So I'm going to give this a shot and um, hopefully it works out. Some tools you need for this DIY, just a standard metric bit set right here. I believe it's a 10 millimeter and then the 8 millimeter, but I don't know 100% just yet. Some type of extension tool like this, your 3 8 ratchet. I'm going to use this thicker one right here along with the smaller one. And of course, if you follow my channel a lot, I use a lot of uh, battery powered. This is not an endorsement, but a lot of battery powered tools instead. But uh, let's get started. So get started, you want to go ahead and pop your hood. Should be a little red lever down there. Give it a pull. Go to the front. Now in the front of the car. It's right there. Look for your battery. It should be in the far left right here in this cover. Put that somewhere safe. All we're doing right now is taking off the negative battery terminal. This should be a 10 millimeter bit. Whoops. Just uh, go ahead and back that off. go to the back seat so now from the passenger rear or the driver's side rear you just go open up we're going to remove this bottom seat cover there's a clip right here and then a clip right here You gotta give it a kind of a push it downward, downward, then lift up. All right, now that that is exposed on the driver's side, this right here is gonna be your fuel filter. On the passenger side, this is gonna be where your uh, fuel pump is. It's an in tank fuel pump. So obviously make sure that your gas level is uh, definitely under half tank. Um, quarter tank would be preferred. All right, so now these nuts right here are gonna be five sixteenths. There should be four of them. So one, two, three, and four. You should take these off by hand. So don't be like me. I'm gonna use this, but definitely do what you're comfortable with. You should probably do it by hand though.
put it somewhere safe. This should come right off. Okay. Next, you want to disconnect these harnesses. Just give it a soft push. Just come right out. Just put it somewhere safe, off to the side. Same thing with this one. Just give it a push and pull it off slowly. Where the tabs are, that is. Okay. Put it off to the side. I'm just going to kind of tuck mine away right here. Okay, so this little retainer ring right here, that that's a 10 millimeter it looks like. When you take this off, just be careful. There's a little gasket between the module cover and the surface of the bottom of the seat. All right. Well, the gas. Let's see if you can even see it. Hold up. The gasket I was referring to is actually right here. I'm going to disconnect this one as well. It's kind of hard to see. Hold on. Give me a moment. I'm going to take this off. This is that little plastic gasket I was talking about. It was just stuck to this top uh, module cover right here. You can replace the gasket if you want. I'm obviously going to... Well, I'm obviously going to probably use reuse mine because it looks like it's in good shape. Okay. There that goes. Just put that off to the side. Okay. Definitely wear gloves for this, obviously. You're touching gasoline. But you'll notice in here, there's this little swivel clasp thing. Same thing right here. Just turn it the opposite way. Like that. Same thing on the other side. And we're going to disconnect this harness and then this harness. Kind of that. This part might be a little hard to film, but it should be pretty straightforward. Take both of these out, and then I expect this should just slide right out but I need to put the camera down. All right, so to get this little hose clamp right here off this little nipple, you gotta get a flathead screwdriver, just pushing this little green tab at that right there, and then this should just come right off, like how mine did. Hopefully yours does too. And then now for the harness, just standard harness. Just push the bow button in right here and pull this out. All right, now so take, to get this harness off, you actually have to get a little pick tool like this, push into this little hole right here where I'm pointing to, when you're um, when you're pushing it in, at the same time with your other hand, give it a soft tug, and it should come right out. So once you uh, get all this stuff disconnected, you're going to slide this little swivel, swivel clasp thing right here. There's again, there's one right here, and there's one right here. Once you slide those all out, this should come right out. I'm gonna get a rag one moment all right I want to mention also you see this little plastic green washer thing right here this cup make sure it lines up with that red thing down there when you put on your replacement which I'm gonna do that here in just a moment all right so what I'm doing right now I'm just comparing my the one I just take took out right here along with my replacement item really guys make sure you wear gloves I mean this is a I haven't done anything this is just it my gloves melting away melting away from the gasoline so I know some of you purists out there don't want to wear gloves but you really should because imagine what this is doing to your skin but uh anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video because the uh installation is the exact same thing but in reverse uh, if you like this video make sure to give me that thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button 
and leave your questions and comments below for the group. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.